Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Kaz. I'm at the Heart Mountain Relocation Campsite. So here we have a guard tower that's originally had on the hill. So they, after the uh, camp is closed, they moved to this location to preservation. So today, this morning, uh, June 27th, the Sunday, we will conduct the service from Heart Mountain. Thank you. Now I move the location from guard tower to this stone. So from the path from the guard stone, a guard tower to the this stone, there's some stones there. There are the gravestones. This is the one, the gravestone for Mr. Honda Shinjiro, Shinjiro Honda. So this morning uh, we will have Sanbujo and Jusege in front of Mr. Honda's grave. Everyone, please join me, Gasho. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda
説無料儒教十制限加言調整以願必死無常の死が不満の政府少将が苦化を無料校世襲不採小便具政府所所が区画市場物の要所所事法区教民所も政府所所が意欲事少年上映主本業死ぐ無常の衣装転任し、金力円大庫、不祥無祭道、少女三区名、交際主役な、開示地営業、熱視混合は、低速昇悪道、通達全集も放送上満足医療老人法1月集中期健康音符芸自主解放増厚生苦毒法腸内収集性法知識苦養医細部収束取得法、元年失業間、国威三害を、尿物無下地、通達未不詳、三学営利、投資最小損、志願や効果、財政の感動、航空商店に、おうちみょけなまなぶなまなぶなまなぶなまなぶなまなぶ Now I move to the location in the campsite, and here, then now you see in the back in the Heart Mountain. So, in front of the Heart Mountain, everyone please rise for the reading of Three Treasures. Namanda
three treasures. Fortunate is it to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Rare is it to encounter the teachings of the Buddha. Now we hear it. If we do not seek the truth of the Dharma in this life, in what life shall we find it? Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken within us our highest aspiration. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depths of the Dharma and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May we all together become unity in true accord, in a life of harmony, in a spirit of universal brotherhood, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriad of carpers, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful teaching. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us truly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teachings. Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu, Naman Dabutsu, Naman Dabutsu, Naman Dabutsu, Naman Dabutsu. Now, except the Dharma school students, please be seated. Now I will change the location. Okay? Three, two, one. Okay, now I change the location. So now we have a singing Hotoke Sama, okay? Three, two, one. No, 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 Sama. Hotoke Sama. Watashi no suki na ka Sama. Now, Dharma School students, please be seated. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for joining June 27th Central California Nishihonganji Combined Family Sunday and Dharma School Service from Heart Mountain Relocation Camp Historic Site in Park County, Wyoming. This is my second visit to the Heart Mountain. Today, I would like to talk about no shinpai, no shinpai, do not worry. Have you visited the Heart Mountain before? Probably most of you may say, no, I haven't, or Reverend Kass, 
where the hot mountain relocation camp is. How about the Yellowstone National Park? Have you visited there before? Then some may say, yes, I visited there before, or I know the Yellowstone, but I haven't been there. As a part of my 11-day vacation, I visited the Topaz relocation campsite last week, and today I am at the Heart Mountain relocation campsite for our Central California streaming Sunday service. This Heart Mountain campsite locates only 13 minutes, 13 minutes from the Yellowstone International Airport. From the airport, it takes about 50 minutes, 50 minutes to the east entrance of the Yellowstone. So if you have a chance to fly into the airport and you have a one hour before your trip to the national park, I recommend you to visit the campsite. After the World War II ended, the majority of the Heart Mountain relocation campsite property was converted to the farmland by the government for local people. As a result, most of the former campsite is now owned by private and there is limited access to the certain camp buildings. You see some old buildings during this service today are only accessible remains. The local people at the Heart Mountain concerned the loss of the historical memory of the campsite. They started the preservation project and now they have the museum in the campsite. Now you see the museum building in the screen. When I entered the muse museum, the local volunteers welcomed and greeted me. There are the collection of artifacts, documents, and photos. As I mentioned, this is my second trip to this Heart Mountain campsite. When I came here back in 2018, I was especially interested watching their video archives. Most of their videos are monocolor, but some others recorded by using color film. The WRA War Relocation Authority captured some scenes of the camp life. One of the color videos shows the Obon dance scene at the Heart Mountain. I was very surprised watching the video because their dancers wear very colorful yukata, kimono for summer season. I learned that when Japanese Americans received the executive order by the U.S. government to move to the relocation camp, they were only allowed to take handful personal belongings to their destination. I wondered that how come so many people have yukata for obon dance at the relocation camp? I asked the museum volunteers about my question, but they are not sure. So after my first trip, I searched for the Sangha members who went to or returned from the Heart Mountain camps to ask my question. It was not difficult to find the right person to ask my question. Can you guess why they were able to wear colorful yukata in the relocation camp? Answer is, there was a mail order service, mail order service. Do you know what the mail order is? There was an order form paper to buy merchandise from a department store. At the Heart Mountain, many people were using the mail order service provided by Sears. So they were able to purchase fabrics from Yukata. Nowadays, we can enjoy online order shopping and usually the merchandise is delivered to us in few days. I interviewed Sansei, third generation Japanese American Buddhist Women's Association member. She said the mail order usually took over a month to receive items at the Heart Mountain. So I was checking a personal mail for my kimono fabric or yukata fabric every day. When I received my purse, I was so happy. At the Heart Mountain camp, 
they could get pretty much everything by using the mail order. Now you know why they could hold Obon dance with Yukata. Oh, I forgot to mention, but they had Obon hanging lantern at their Obon as well. Especially the Obon season is coming closer in Central Cal. I hope many of you show your appreciation to your past generation who went through the relocation camp experience. They might enjoy Obon dance at their relocation camp life. I was assigned to Sacrament Buddhist Church in 2003, and it was my first assignment. There was a Nisei, second generation Japanese American gentleman who was born in the farmland in Sacramento, used to say to me, Sensei no Shinpai, Sensei no Shinpai. When he said it to me first time, I did not understand what he was saying. He taught me the meaning of no shinpai. No is English. Obviously, that's not something for no, no, no. No is English. And shinpai is Japanese term. The expression of no shinpai is a mixture of English and Japanese. So it is only used by Japanese Americans. Nikkei people. It is very unique but meaningful. He explained me what no shinpai means. The simple translation of no shinpai is do not worry. So shinpai means do not uh, worry, something to worry about. There is a deeper meaning behind. No shinpai, do not worry, because we overcame and survived through the unpredictable relocation camp experience. As long as we chin up and be optimistic to live our life, things may change and we can laugh about our rough and tough life in our past. I thought his explanation was very meaningful. Especially, he experienced both relocation camp life and as a Japanese-American U.S. citizen, he fought for the country to show his loyalty, known as Nisei Vet. Unpredictability of our life is one of the essential teachings of the Buddha. Some may take unpredictability as a negative expression. It is natural to feel that way. Because as a human nature, we try to predict things to manage and control. But the Buddha said, unpredictability of our life is truth of the Buddha Dharma. Because of the unpredictability, he encouraged us to live our life mindfully and positively. No Shinpai is to me a really Buddhistic ex expression encouraging people live positively in the Buddhist community. However, as the generation changes, these important Buddhistic expressions are going to disappear. The Nisei gentleman who I spoke passed away over 10 years ago, and his children do not know what no shinpai means. I am a native Japanese. I have no relative in Japanese American community. But I am very interested how Japanese immigrants and their children maintain and preserve Buddhist teachings in their everyday life. During this pandemic, I was able to visit four relocation campsites and conducted Sunday services. The series of the relocation campsite visitation made me to think I need to study and learn more about people in their campsite life and Buddhism. Whether you are a part of Japanese American or not, please conduct your self-study on Japanese American Buddhism in 1940s because they acted a very important role to maintain our temple and Buddhist teachings during the World War II. Without having their effort and kindness, we are 
not able to enjoy our Buddhist life and abundance in the central California now. In closing, please join me in Gasho. No Shinpai, do not worry, because we overcame and survived through the unpredictable relocation camp experience. As long as we chin up and be optimistic to live our life, things may change and we can laugh about our rough and tough life in our past. Unpredictability of our life is one of the essential teachings of the Buddha. Some may take unpredictability as a negative expression. It is natural to feel that way, because as a human nature, we try to predict things to manage and control. But the Buddha say, unpredictability of our life is truth of the Buddha Dharma. Because of the unpredictability, he encouraged us to live our life mindfully and positively. Namo Amida Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. Namandavs, 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 Namandavs. Now I am in the barrack of the Heart Mountain here. Again, thank you for attending June 27th Central California Combined Family Sunday and Dharma School service this morning from Heart Mountain Relocation Campsite. Uh, next Sunday, we will back to Central Cal and we will have monthly memorial service July Shotsuki, that's the 4th of July, 4th of July, 4th of July Sunday, we will have a, a streaming service from Vaisalya Buddhist Church. Also, Vaisalya Buddhist Church welcomes in-person service too. So please come and join us our service. Again, thank you for attending this morning's service from Heart Mountain, Wyoming. In closing, everyone join me at show. No. See you next Sunday.